Hi, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to my very first video also. Um, today, I will be reviewing Oscar by Oscar de la Renta. Um, this perfume was first released, I believe, in 1977. Let me take a quick look at my notes. And I think it was, yeah, it was their very first perfume that... Um, that they made. <laughs> this perfume has, let's see, the accords are, <laughs> sorry you guys, I'm using my iPad and it's just going so, so slowly. Um, the main accords to this are white floral, aromatic, woody, amber, warm, spicy, sweet, powdery, fresh, spicy, tuberose, and balsamic. Um, when I smell this, I really pick up on the woodiness, the amber, the warm spicy, and the fresh spicy, and it's, it's powdery, not as powdery as I would like though. Um, let's see, and let's get down to the notes. The top notes of this are clove, gardenia, coriander, orange blossom, basil, peach, and bergamot or bergamot. I'm sorry, I always mispronounce that. I always want to say bergamot, but there's no N in there. <laughs> um, let's see, middle notes are tuberose, lang lang, lavender, iris, jasmine, rosemary, rose, orchid. The base notes are clove, myrrh, sandalwood, lavender, amber, apoponax, I hope I said that right, vetiver, musk, patchouli and coconut. Um, I looked on their actual site and I think I didn't compare them side side to side um, but I do remember I think on their website or maybe another website maybe another perfume website they listed gal, gal, galbidum as an ingredient so I'm not really sure Probably the best would be to go with um, their own website, obviously. Um, but anyhow, let's see. When I first spray this perfume on, I like it. You know, it has that that spiciness, that spicy base that a lot of vintage perfumes seem to have. Um, they seem to have that in common. Um, when I first spray it, I really like it. I nothing really stands out for me. There's no, there's no base. I mean, there's no base. I'm sorry. There's no one scent that I could say, oh yeah, I really smell that, or that really pops out. It's just kind of an overall like, oh, that's pleasant. Um, the problem for me comes when it dries down, and when it dries on my skin, and the longer I have it on. Um, I get this smell of, it smells like pine, like one of those cheap Christmas candles that you would find at the dollar store, you know, like amongst all the nice smelling wonderfulness, there's this sharp pine smell that really sticks out, and it's not exactly like pine, but that's the closest I can think of to describing it. It's very sharp. It sticks out like a sore thumb, and to me, it, it's just kind of this sharp, dirty, cheap pine smell. And um, I, I don't know if maybe my skin brings that out of it, but um, it really kind of makes it unwearable for me because it's not so much that it smells bad, I just don't like that pine smell. I, I'm not a fan of pine um, in general. You know, um, I, I don't like it. Like around Christmas time, I never buy anything that smells like pine. I just, it rubs me the wrong way. I don't like it. So, you know, on someone else, that smell may not even register. Maybe on someone else's skin, that smell may not even come out at all. Or it may even be pleasant. I don't know. But for me, I can smell it on myself and I just... Um, I just don't like it. Um, and I was trying to, I was looking at the notes trying to figure out what 
might bring it out. I don't know if it's if what I'm smelling would be categorized as fresh spicy. Because me, I love a spicy scent, and I love warm spicy. But I've had perfumes before that had both warm spicy and fresh spicy in the Accords, and I loved them. So this one just didn't work for me. If I had to take a, a guess, I would say maybe it's the basil and the rosemary that I'm not really liking. Um, I don't know if it's the gal galbadum. Um, for a minute, I thought maybe it was the cloves because maybe it had double clove, but I love clove. So I really don't think that that would bug me. Like I said, I don't know if it's one particular scent or if it's just a combination of like a couple of scents that creates that, that pine smell to me. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't like it. Um, I think... I think if it didn't have that 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 note, that smell, I would this would be a total keeper for me because it's pleasant otherwise. You know, when I smell it, you know, I'm like, ooh, that smells nice, but that one note just drives me nuts. Um, this scent is categorized as an amber floral. And I love amber florals. When I first found out about fra Fragrantica, you know, I typed in all my perfumes you know, just to kind of read about them and see. And almost everything I had in my collection was an amber floral. All my top favorites were amber florals. So this is the first one that I've run across that I didn't like. Um, let's see. The box, the box is very pretty. You know, it's classic black and white. I think it's very classy, very elegant, very simple. The bottle is pretty, it's pretty cool too. Um, if you take a closer look, you know, it kind of has these grooves on it and like the little embossed flower. And then I like that on the top, it has that. And then if you take off the lid, you know, you have to be very careful because it has to match the name. Because when I put, I tried to put it on this way, it will not go on. So just a heads up, if you buy this, it has to go on the correct way. Um, let's see the back. It's just that. It's a pretty cute bottle. I like it. Um, that's you know, just that. Would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't buy this again for myself. Um, and I don't think I'll be using up the rest of the bottle. Like I said, um, that note, it's just going to be a no for me. Um, would I buy this for someone else? I totally would, as long as I knew that they liked it. This wouldn't be, this wouldn't be a, oh, I'm going to gift this to somebody and hopefully they like it. Um, yeah, I think I would give it to somebody who I knew would appreciate it. Um, and... It doesn't smell bad. It's not a bad smell. It's actually a very nice perfume. Uh, and it kind of makes me sad that for whatever reason that 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 note sticks out so much for me. But um I don't know, that's it. But thank you for watching my video. This is my very first one. I'm so nervous. So I hope I did a good job. Um have a good day, you guys, and see you next time.